name's Dr. Gill. Um, before we start, can I please take your name and date of birth? Otavis Salvi, 4th of January 2000. Super. So, um, I've been asked to have a chat with you. Um, how can I help today? So, I know I've been asked to have a blood test, and I'm happy to have the blood test. Mm -hmm. But in the past, it's been a problem for people trying to find my veins. Okay. And it's just having a blood test is quite discomforting anyway, and it's not the most pleasant experience. So I'm kind of anxious about it all, but okay. I've heard there's a piece of kit that could help. Absolutely. So f obviously we're uh, more than capable of taking uh, a, a blood sample without using this, but sometimes for patients such as yourself, being able to see the blood vessel and see what we're targeting can help things. As you say, particularly if people have had trouble finding the veins in, uh, in the past. So this is one of the vein finders. So let me just show you. So what we'll do is I'll bring the vein finder over and you should be able to see the veins in your arm that we'll hopefully be targeting and that will hopefully give you an element of reassurance. So I'll bring this over. So these green lines, these are highlighting where you've got blood vessels in your arm. And we've got some big ones that are running across the, uh, your elbow here, the antecubital fossa. And we'd often look to try and take one from there first because that's one of the easiest um, uh, places to take blood. So would you be happy for me to try that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So are you right or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the tourniquet on and that will let the veins swell up, which we'll see on the machine. And then we'll, um, uh, we'll wipe the area with the alcohol and then we'll take the blood. And hopefully we shouldn't have any problems, okay? So I've just got the tourniquet to start off with. So that's in place. So the crucial thing about finding the vein is it's not just what we can um, see, but what we can feel as well. There's a, there's a good vein appearing here. Are you, can you see that? Yeah. And we're just going to get the chlorhexidine wipe. Okay. So just going straight down there. And we can see very nicely what we're going to target. And we're going to get a, 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 one of the tiny um, uh, uh, blood vessel kits, so you're even less likely to feel it. I'm going to attach it onto the uh, vacutainer and pulling the top off. So we've got a live needle, I'm going to get the yellow vial, I'm going to come in nice and close, and we're going to go into there. And I'm going to put the vacuette in at the same time. So we've got the vacutainer full of blood. I'm just going to pull the tourniquet off. Okay. So, so take the needle out, set that, put that in the shop, and we'll just apply the plaster there. Okay. So we've done well with that. Uh, there was no problems with taking the blood. Um, is there anything else I can, else I can do for you today? No, that was okay. really fantastic. So I appreciate that sometimes taking blood is a, you know, an anxiety-inducing procedure. So if you want to have a, a seat outside just to make sure that you're calm before you head home, we can certainly bring you some water or anything like that. Okay. Thank you. Super. Thank you very much for your day. Take care. Thanks.